Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Kutilam, class for second PU, that is plus two, chemistry, unit one, solid state, it's second class. Okay, here I'll uh, explain about definitions of lattice point, crystal lattice, unit cell, coordination number, then the parameters of a unit cell, names of seven crystal systems, and calculation of numbers of atoms in a cubic unit cell, that is simple cubic cell, BCC as well as FCC. Okay, so crystal lattice, we can see that uh, in a solid state, the atoms or molecules or uh, ions, it can be arranged in a three-dimensional way like this. Okay, this is a representation of a three-dimensional uh, uh, arrangement of atoms, molecules or uh, ions in which a, a small piece is cut and removed here. Just to represent that, this contains uh, four plus four, eight at atoms or molecules or uh, this, uh, ions are there. Okay, so this is the space between that, or we can say this is the part where the atoms or molecules or ions are getting shared or they are in contact with each other. So these are the uh, molecules or atoms. Okay, so a regular three dimensional arrangement of points in space is called crystal lattice. Okay, so here these points represent atoms, and this is a regular three dimensional arrangement of uh, these points. Okay, this is known as crystal lattice. Okay, so in a uh, crystal lattice, what is a unit cell? A unit cell, okay, uh, represented with uh, these dots. Okay, so this dot represents that uh, this atom is behind of this facing atom. Okay, and the remaining three atoms here, the top four atoms, bottom also four atoms. I just represented. Okay, th this arrow indicates that this point is. Uh, behind this front ball, okay. So this is the atom, or uh, that is that uh, molecule or ion. Okay. So if I uh, remove those uh, balls as such, the three-dimensional arrangement or phase fitting model, if I remove, so you can see these points are connected by uh, straight lines. Okay. So then it become a unit cell. So this is a representation of a unit cell. So unit cell is the smallest portion of a crystal lattice. Okay. So these crystal lattice or these a unit cells it gets repeats so many times to get a, a crystal lattice okay which when repeated in different di directions and generates the entire lattice the entire lattice is made up of a one unit cell okay we'll see in detail later. okay so same uh, picture i took again to explain what are the lattice points so i represent that this atom its presence is highest in this region okay so this atom its presence is highest in this region okay so these points are connected and uh, made a unit cell so in a unit cell okay so these are the uh, uh, points which represents the atom molecule or ion so a lattice point okay these are all the uh, white balls that i represented here these are all lattice points okay so lattice point is the position in the unit cell or in a crystal where the probability of finding an atom or ion is the highest in other words, the atom or ion occupy the lattice points in a crystalline solid. Okay, so that is about the lattice point. Okay, now coordination number, the definition of coordination number. To explain or to come to that point, I took a crystal structure like this. Okay, from which I am removing uh, some of the atoms. Okay, so this represents that they are getting removed. And this is the atom. The green color is the atom of our concentration. Uh, we are more focusing on that atom, green atom. Okay, further atoms are removed. It is, it is getting removed. And finally, finally, when all the atoms are removed, we can see that the atom to that, the closest atoms or which is attached to that, the remaining all atoms are removed. And the one which is attached to that central atom, that is total six are there. Okay, therefore we can say that is the a coordination number of that atom. So coordination number, or in other words, we call it as a ligancy. Ligancy or coordination number, it is the uh, number of atoms. Okay, so here, six number of atoms. Okay, number of atoms, ions, or molecules that a central atom or ion holds as its nearest neighbors. Okay, these six atoms are its nearest neighbors. Okay, so in a complex or coordination compound in a crystal. Therefore, here I can say that six is the coordination number of this central atom. Okay, so that about a coordination number, its definition. It is the smallest number of atom, ion, or molecule that a central atom or ion holds as its nearest neighbor. 
crystal lattice you go, go back to the crystal lattice that, that was the first slide i what i started so there are 14 possible three dimensional lattices there are 14 possible crystal lattices are there and uh, this is a representation a three dimensional representation uh, 14 other which we can further uh, subdivide into seven that is cubic monoclinic orthorhombic rhombic tetragonal hexagonal and triclinic okay these are the seven categories a total there are 14 okay so these 14 uh, crystal lattice were first identified or uh, named by uh, a french uh, mathematician brevias or auguste brevias therefore these lattices we call it as brevias lattices okay bra ba is brevias lattices okay so there are some uh, characteristics of these crystal lattice we will see one by one so each point in a lattice is called a lattice point or lattice site. Okay, already we discussed lattice point. So each point, so all these uh, balls or these dots represents the point or that is the lattice site. Okay, this lattice site, it may be an atom or molecule or a group of atoms. Okay, or even ions. So these points which I represented here, it may be uh, an atom, molecule or group of atoms. Now the third point says, the lattice points are joined by straight lines to bring out the geometry of the lattice. Okay, so here the lattice points, one, two, three, four. These four lattice points are connected by a straight line. Then it is connected to its neighboring uh, uh, carbon atom like this. It becomes a cubical structure. Okay, so this is a simple cube, whatever uh, given in uh, that uh, colored portion, uh, this different color that is reddish color portion that is a unit cell okay so these lattice points so these single each individual points are connected by a straight line to bring out the total geometry of the lattice okay we'll see the uh, different varieties of unit cells so unit cell already we defined it is the smallest portion of the crystal lattice that was very clear in the second slide itself now the second statement of that or the uh, after comma which says that when it repeats in different directions and generates the entire lattice that will make like clear here so if we consider this as a single uh, uh, unit cell okay so this is contains a uh, uh, total uh, eight atoms or uh, its pieces are taken um, combining it one by one or uh, in different directions it get repeated okay so like this it get repeated and finally we can say it becomes a crystal lattice okay so uh, this is a portion of one atom or cut piece uh, means a, a slice portion of atom is present here whereas inside we can see the total uh, the molecule atom or it is present so this is the uh, a crystal lattice okay therefore we can say a unit cell if i take like this if you check the movement of this uh, arrow mark you can see this is a single uh, unit cell Okay, unit cell, it get repeats to become a crystal lattice. The entire uh, molecular structure, we can call it as a crystal lattice. Okay, so this is a crystal lattice in which this uh, dark region, that is a unit cell. Okay, now parameters of a unit cell. A unit cell is characterized by its dimensions along three edges. Okay. That is A, B, and C. What is A, B, C? Okay, here I can represent uh, this line as A, this uh, direction as B, and the third one, like this, it is C. Okay, or I'll give, take another example, uh, another picture I'll take. Okay, so this is A here. Then this direction, that axis is B. This third direction axis, it is C. Okay, so its dimensions are arranged in an axis direction A, B, C, and these edges may or may not be mutually perpendicular. Okay, so it, it may not be always perpendicular only. Now here it is represented as perpendicular. It may not be always perpendicular. Okay, so the second point, the angles between the edges, alpha, that is between B and C, this B and C, and beta, that is between A and C. So A and C, it becomes a angle known as beta. And gamma, that is between A and B. Okay, so we'll take the alpha first. That is the angle between B and C. 
okay second angle that is between a and c third one here that is between a and b okay so these six that is uh, the axial uh, length a b c as well as the angle alpha beta gamma these are the six uh, parameters which decides the unit cell okay based on that we can say what type of unit cell is that means if a is equal to b then it is equal to c if all the three length if they are same or they are not same the bond angles whether it is 90 degree or 120 degree all these decides like that we have 14 bravias lattices okay based on these parameters we decide the uh, crystal system okay so there are seven crystal systems the total is in 14 so these are the 14 uh, crystal systems in which uh, is subdivided into a uh, cubic monoclinic orthorhombic rhombohedral tetragonal hexagonal and triclinic okay so we'll see one by one before that uh, a unit cell can be uh, uh, considered as primitive unit cell or centered unit cell okay what is that uh, primitive unit cell okay so primitive unit cell in other words we call it as a simple cubic cell so in primitive unit cells the constituents the atoms molecule or ions they are present only at the corners okay so corners of a unit cell if atoms molecules or ions are present we call it as a primitive unit cell so this this clear the, this picture it, it is more clear so the cut portion means that is the contribution of an atom here if you slice that uh, crystal lattice then we can see these are the four plus four eight atoms are there in this okay contribute eight atoms are contributing towards this unit cell okay so if only corners are if atoms are present we call it as a simple cubic or primitive unit cell okay whereas if along with that corners okay already uh, on all these pictures the corners already atoms are there or atoms molecule or ions are there other than that uh, here we can see at center one atom is there here at different faces there are atoms here again two faces there are atoms so such type of uh, uh, unit cells we call it as centered unit cells okay so uh, when a unit cell contains one or more constituent particles present at positions other than corners in addition to those at corners it is called a centered unit cell so other than uh, corner cells in addition to that if another atom or molecule or uh, ion is present at the center we call it as a centered unit cells okay so we'll see that uh, its classification as body centered cubic cell so in a body centered unit cell the atom or particles or ion it is at the center of a body this unit uh, unit cell is exact center okay so this is more clear so exact center one atom is there so here also if you take the sliced portion of a unit cell if you take uh, this lattice is a sliced portion if you take we can see one atom at center okay the other atoms are at the corners so this is the a body centered uh, cubic uh, unit cell the second one that is face centered cubic cell in face centered cubic cell other than the corner atoms already corner atoms should be there okay the atoms are present even at the faces of that cube a cube will, have, will be having eight faces okay so all the eight faces uh, a cubic will be having one two three four five six six faces not eight faces okay so all the six faces uh, if atoms are there atoms or molecules or ions are there then we call it as a face centered cubic okay so here the sliced portion represents uh, the corner the yellow colored uh, at, are the atoms for its contribution towards the unit cell and the red portion it represents that that is at the face okay that is exact half of an atom is present there so one atom at the uh, extreme right hand one atom at the top uh, one at the front side one will be behind that uh, one will be on left side and one will be at the bottom so total six will be there okay so in a cube uh, there are uh, maximum possible six uh, face centered uh, atoms may be there so if the atoms are on the face the center of a face we call it as a face centered unit cell 
Then third type that is end centered unit cell. End centered unit cell is similar to that of phase. Only the difference is that two opposite sides only the atoms or molecule or ions will be present. Okay, so this is the opposite side, or it may be the extreme right side or extreme left side. So like that, if the arrangement any two opposite spaces. Okay, so if any two opposite faces have got uh, atoms other than the corner atoms, then it is a uh, n centered uh, unit cell. Now, the seven crystal systems we see in the cubic, uh, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, hexagonal, rhombohedral, and triclinic. We'll see one by one uh, and its uh, parameters or characteristics. So, in a cubic unit cell, the distances, actual distances, a is equal to B is equal to C. Okay, all the uh, distances are equal. And the angle, and uh, axial angles, that is alpha, beta, gamma, they are also equal. It is exactly 90 degree. And cubic cells have three variations already discussed. That is primitive, body-centered, face-centered. Okay, now this example for unit cell with the cubic structure, they are sodium chloride, zinc blend, and copper are example for such type of uh, unit cells. The second one that is tetragonal. Tetragonal unit cell, the axial distance, uh, any two uh, axial distance are same, but the third one is not equal to that. Okay, so here A is equal to B, but it is not equal to C. The bond angle, or the not bond angle, the axial angle of a crystal that are equal to 90 degree. So alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so the variations of uh, tetragonal unit cell, there are two variations of, of seen that is primitive, that is simple for body centered variations are the example like white tin, uh, tin oxide, titanium dioxide, alcium sulfate or the crystals which comes under tetragonal category. The third one that is orthorhombic. Orthorhombic unit cells, the axial distances, all the three different uh, distances are not equal. They, they are different. A is not equal to B, which is not equal to C. Whereas the axial angle, that is alpha, beta, gamma, they are equal, that is 90 degree. Its variations, uh, all possible variations are the like primitive, body centered, face centered, and end centered variations are there with uh, orthorhombic unit cells. Examples like uh, rhombic sulfur, potassium nitrate, barium sulfate are example for orthorhombic unit cells. Now monoclinic, the axial distances A, A, A is not equal to B, but B is equal to C. That means any two axial distances are same, but the third one is not the same. If A is not equal to B, then axial angle alpha is equal to beta, that is 90 degree, whereas gamma is 120 degree. Okay, its variations, two types are there, primitive and base center. So this is a different category that we have not discussed. Therefore, it is given in bracket. It is a lattice in uh, base centered uh, cubic crystals. The lattice points in the middle of each of the two ends. This is a different variety, different category that we'll discuss in detail in higher, higher classes. Okay, so example for uh, monoclinic cells, uh, beta sulfur, gypsum, borax are our example for monoclinic unit cells. Next one, that is hexagonal unit cells. In hexagonal unit cells, the distance A is equal to distance B, the axial distances, but it is not equal to the axial distance C. Same way, the axial angles alpha is equal to beta 90 degree, whereas the gamma, that bond angle, uh, that uh, axial angle is 120 degree. It has got a only one variation that is primitive, Example, graphite, uh, zinc oxide, cadmium sulfate are, uh, comes under hexagonal units. So they are arranged, the molecule arranged uh, in a hexagonal uh, way, hexagonal unit cell. Now, next one, a rhombohedral, or which is again known as trigonal unit cells. The actual distance A is equal to B, uh, which is again equal to C. Okay, one second. Okay, so A is equal to B is equal to C in rhombohedral unit cell. The axial angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma, but it is not 90 degree as such. 
it may be different bond angle but it should be it, it should be the same angle variation primitive say example calcite that is calcium carbonate or cinnabar uh, mercuric sulfide hgs or example for rhombohedral uh, crystal system now the last one that is triclinic unit cell the axial distance a is not equal to b it is not equal to c all different distances are there and even the uh, axial angle and alpha is not equal to beta it is not equal to uh, gamma only one variation is there that is primitive example microcline or turquoise two uh, solid materials which comes under triclinic uh, some examples are given here now how to calculate the number of atoms in a cubic unit cell in a crystal if you take one unit cell uh, how, how many atoms are contributing to that unit cell that calculation is very important how it can be calculated is very easy each corner atom in a cube actually it is shared between eight units as you see in many slides so you'll see in the coming slide will be deeply or in, in depth i'll explain it about that okay so each corner atom it contributes it is shared by between eight unit cells means each corner atom it, it contributes to eight unit cells therefore a corner atom contributes to one upon eight to each unit cell okay the second point an atom on the face of a unit cell that is in a face centered cubic cells is shared by two unit cells thus a face atom contributes one upon two to a unit cell that is half half contribution is there an atom on the edge of a cube is shared by four unit cells hence an edge atom contributes 1 upon 4 to each unit cell and the fourth point an atom inside a cube belongs that is the body centered cubes uh, cases uh, that belongs to only to that cube hence that atom contributes fully that is 1 upon 1 that is 1 to that cell we'll take one by one three cases we have to discuss here that is a simple or primitive uh, cubic unit cells so in a simple or primitive cubic cell this is the representation the sliced portion of a unit cell containing the atoms so we can see this one portion represents a, a part of an atom okay actually it is 1 by 8 portion of an atom only 1 by 8 portion is available in this uh, you, uh, cubical structure okay so each corner each atoms and it's one uh, one by eighth portion only available here or we can say the contribution of one corner atom is one by eight or one upon eight therefore here total eight atoms are there top eight atoms are there bottom also there are eight atoms this of all the contribution of eight corner atoms that is one upon eight into the eight corner that is equal to one therefore in a simple or primitive unit cell the contribution of atoms in a simple uh, cubic unit cell is one okay so that all these combines if you combine all these pieces it becomes one atom okay that that is the meaning of that uh, or we can say the contribution uh, the atoms number of atoms is one in a body centered cubic cell so a body centered cubic cell is uh, represented here uh, uh, full atom is there at the center we know that in a body center center atom its contribution is full uh, it is present as such whereas the corners that is the cut portions uh, like this one atom will be here it's one by eight portion only available at the corner okay therefore there are eight corner atoms and one central atoms so already we seen the contribution of one corner atom is uh, one upon eight and contribution of eight corner atoms will be one upon eight into that eight atoms that is one okay and the contribution of one central atom that is one that is one upon one therefore total two one plus one therefore the number of atoms per unit cell in a body centered cubic cell is one plus one that is two that means in this uh, unit cell there are total two atoms present the effect the effectiveness if you, if you say once atom at the center and these corner atoms if you combine that becomes the effect of a another one atom therefore total two atoms are there in a body centered cubic cell in a face centered cubic unit cell there are eight corners okay already uh, that eight corners already there and there are six atoms at the 
the centers of six faces. There are six faces for a cube, and each six uh, faces has got a one atom each. And that contribution is exactly half. You can see it is exact half portion of an atom. If you take one full atom, it's exact half is there at the a face. So uh, in a face centered uh, cubic unit cell, each face has got six atoms, and each six atoms its contribution is half. Okay, so we'll see in detail. So contribution of one corner atom. So one corner atom already we see that is one upon eight. Therefore, contribution of like that eight corner atoms that is one. That is one upon eight into eight that is one. The face atoms, atoms present in the face of a cube, that is one face atom has its contribution is one upon two. Therefore, total six face atoms. Therefore, contribution of six face atoms, that is one upon two into six, that is three. Therefore, the total uh, effective uh, atoms present in a, a face centered cubic cell is uh, one plus three, that is four. Therefore, if you consider a face centered unit cell, if the total effective atoms that we calculate, if you calculate, that will be four atoms can occupy in this area. That is the meaning of that. Okay, so that about a calculation of a number of atoms in cubic cell. Okay, that is the end of this class. Okay, this is class for second PO or plus two chemistry unit one, and this is the second class for that. Okay, I will uh, sign out from this presentation. Okay, thank you very much for uh, listening and have a nice day.